welcome to our very first episode of this new series where we will be testing chilies and chili sauces. My name is Solren and I'm a scientist here at Simran Peacock. So what is hotness? Capsaicin is a molecule which is one of the main contributors to the hotness of chilies. It is a defense mechanism that the plants developed to prevent mammals from eating them. Yet, we humans eat them a lot. Mm. Even though I have this <laughs> um, burning sensation starting to come in my mouth right now, there are several health benefits to eating chilies. Research shows that it's actually preventing cancer and also mm, it can help stop bleeding and it has more vitamin C than even oranges. But let's I put some numbers down to it and let's test these chilies and chili sauce. In order for us to test the hotness of the chilies, we will measure the scolic heat units, which is proportional to the amount of capsaicin present in a chili. We will uh, chop this chili up and mix it with a buffer so that we can use our food sense box to test the, uh, test the hotness right now. So, as I said, um, the plants developed uh, the capsaicin such that the mammals uh, wouldn't eat it. But birds, they are not feeling the hotness. Instead, the birds are eating it and spreading the seeds. Another pro tip for you is to use chilies when you have a stuffy nose because it will clear up your sinuses. Ooh. Okay. I will, according to the FoodSense app, I will add uh, one... <coughs> the, 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 fumes, the fumes are spicy. <laughs> uh, and I'm not even eating it. But I just ate it, so uh, that's okay. Um, I'll just uh, measure up some of this. Okay. Um, all right. That's... So we have 180 grams of uh, chili here. So we need to add four parts of buffer, which is 720 um, grams of buffer. Okay, 720. Alright, so as I said, um, school heat units is proportional to the amount of capsaicin present in the chili. It was invented by uh, Viber Scoville in 1912, and uh, he was decreasing the hotness by adding sugar water until the taste panel couldn't taste uh, the hotness anymore. So they were using their um, taste buds to um, determine the hotness. We'll just make sure that the chili and the capsaicin is, is uh, homogeneously mixed in the solution. All right. Okay, that's good. Um, and now we will add a sensor to the food sense box and we will pipette the microliters and we need to um we need to uh, cut off the tip so that we'll uh, also be able to pull up the chunks and bits of the chili because the um food processor didn't mash it that nicely up right so i'll put it onto the sensor like this um and then i will Start the Fizzins app um, and start the recording. The measurement will run for a minute, so we will just fast forward the video. And now the uh, results are ready, and uh, <laughs> we have 6,000. 
110 school heat units according to the uh, box but let's compare it with uh, Tabasco sauce which we know to be around 2500 school units and see how it does compare to that how about maybe you will compare it with your taste so maybe maybe you will try to taste it and compare it and we will compare the results with a food sense box yikes I, uh, I apparently, uh, my mouth is not burning enough from before. Uh, <laughs> let's uh, give it a go. All right, and then we'll uh, test it after. Thank you. My assistant comes prepared. <laughs> um, I, I guess it's called empathy. <laughs> All right, just put a bunch of there on set. It tastes, <laughs> mm. it tastes a bit differently, but yeah, not as strong as the other one. Let's see. Let's now see what the food sense box says. If uh, the food sense box agrees that this one is less spicy than this one, mm. which my taste buds uh, feel like. Um, so I know this one to be 2000 or it should be around 2500. So that's my guess. <laughs> I'm guessing <laughs> um, it's around 2005, but um, so, in order to test this, I would uh, mix it with a buffer again, but I have cheated and I've already prepared the sample. So, uh, I prepared the sample for the two other uh, chilies that are here as well. Um, so, uh, here's the Tabasco. Okay, and let's... Alright, and... Let's pull up some of that sauce and pipette it onto the sensor like that. And new measurements. Measure. All right, so uh, now that app is uh, saying that we have 2,785 Scoville heat units, which is also according to literature. So now we will measure the hotness of these two uh, chilies as well. This is a raw chili and this is a habanero. Uh, and again, I have cheated and I've already prepared the samples. So I will just swap the sensor and we'll test it and see what the numbers are saying. And how about you test it as well yourself and, tell, <laughs> and try to guess the score? So um, I haven't suffered enough. <laughs> Um, all right, um, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll uh, give it a go. <laughs> um, I'll test it. <laughs> Embrace yourself. Mm. It was more spicy. No. Oh. <laughs> it was, it was, or maybe not, or maybe my mouth is starting to be numb. Mm -hmm. It's actually not that much more spicy than than the cayenne chili that I did first, I think. Mm. But it's starting to increase, but no, I'm actually not sure. Maybe. Yeah, now it's increasing. Yeah, maybe <laughs> maybe this one is. Or maybe they're uh, they're about the same. Um, we'll see if I eventually start crying um, from the hotness, um, and that will prove a point. But <laughs> can you guess the score? The score. Okay, score. Um, so the uh, can was six thousand. So I would guess this is about um, let's say five five thousand maybe. Uh, no four. No, yeah, actually, let's say four thousand. Let's let's go with that. I might be so far off. I'm gonna go for yogurt. Mm. Mm. Oh. What you do for work, hey? <laughs> mm. Or maybe it's even stronger. Okay, let's say that's let's okay, let's say <laughs> let's say uh let's say seven thousand then. Um it is it is, uh, it is burning, but... Okay. 
Okay. The measurements. And I'll just have some yogurt in the meantime. Woo! Okay. 18,000 18, Scoville heat units. So it was a lot hotter than last time. I was just trying to pretend that I was tough, um, uh, but it is burning and I don't get rid of it even using yogurt. But yeah, uh, 18,000. So it it's uh, by far stronger than the cayenne pepper that was 6,000. So three times the, the hotness then. So uh, let's move on to the last one, which is also the spiciest one, which is the habanero. Okay. So I should uh, probably taste it first then. <laughs> I'm not doing, I'm not doing the entire piece of this chunk. It's not too bad. I think it weighs a little bit. Hmm. Before you say the score. Yeah, this was actually not that bad. I thought this would, it would be the strongest one, but According to the labels in the grocery store, they should have been. But it might be like, also, it's the the flesh around the seeds that are the spiciest. So maybe I ate more of the spicy parts and than the habanero. But I would I would say that this is probably around like 9,000 or so. I can try. Now I must have... <clears throat> okay. Okay, it's spicy. Um, so I got I got through to the seeds. Um, more than oh, more than nine thousand. Mm. Mm. But still, doesn't feel as spicy as the first one. Uh, <clears throat> um, let's go with let's go with fourteen thousand, and let's see how it does uh, compared to the to their what um okay it's, it, <laughs> it is burning i'm still not crying so i can do a few more videos uh like these i guess um okay just wanna pull Ooh. <laughs> okay it is i'm starting to feel it um why does it hit so so late like it should have hit like a minute ago <laughs> okay, so 18,000, 6,000, 2,005, and let's see <laughs> with the habanero. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm totally cool. <laughs> this is, it's, it's in my throat, it's on my lips, it's like everywhere. Uh, <laughs> I forgot about every like you should you should not be chewing with your mouth open and you should not be like at least you shouldn't be talking with your mouth open and I've done it and chewing at the same time and I'm doing just every thing wrong okay so 11,000 I was wrong well I was correct in in it wasn't 14,000 but it was still less than this one which is opposite of what the grocery store was say, telling us and also what I tasted so um, it is really convenient with uh, these food test boxes, which you can just uh, take wherever you go and test the food at a go. Um, and the winner is this small but strong um, rot. Uh, second place is the habanero. Then we have the cayenne chili. And last but not least, the Tabasco sauce. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to our channel. And don't hesitate to contact us at Simmer and Peacock. Thank you for watching this video. And thank you for watching me suffer. You can cut away that if you want to cut it. Okay.